What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered video. I've just completed my last game and I'm finally able to prestige into the first prestige in multiplayer. So today we're going to hop into the barracks now. We're going to show you guys what happens when you actually prestige, what you lose, make sure everything stays the same. So we're going to go through here and activate prestige 1. So I've been playing headquarters all the way up through this prestige. I didn't play any other game mode. And what has been added in Modern Warfare Remastered is you actually do get a prestige unlock token, just like you would in some of the other Call of Duties that are a little more relevant now, like Modern Warfare 3 or even Advanced Warfare, you got those prestige tokens. So they have brought that back to Call of Duty 4. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock the Bandolier perk. This is definitely my favorite perk in the game right now. So we're definitely going to unlock that one first. And then I'm going to show you guys my stats and everything. So we did get to this prestige in 19 hours and 27 minutes. We played 104 games, 64% win percentage, and a 438 score per minute. Now, like I said, I only played Headquarters, so this is basically what it'll look like if you play Headquarters. It may be a little faster or slower if you play something else like Domination or even uh, Brown War. You can easily get some more XP, and just really depends on the challenges you complete as well. So that's pretty much everything that happens, guys. You do keep your camos when you're prestige, so if you're worried about resetting your challenges or anything like that, everything in your challenges does stay the same. You don't have to worry about resetting your camos or anything like that either. Now, one thing I did lose when I was prestiging was my rank on the leaderboards. Now, as you guys can tell, my friend there is ranked number one now. Right before I prestiged, I was ranked number one. He was ranked number two. Now, for some reason, when I prestiged, it actually did take my stats off the leaderboard. So if you were someone that was going for leaderboard stats or just wanted to somehow get up there in those leaderboards, keep that in mind. When you prestige, you will lose your status. I don't know if they're going to add in a fix for that later on down the road or what's going on with that or why I was even removed. But when you prestige, you will be removed from any leaderboards that you were trying to go after except for career. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe for future Call of Duty videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.